Nickelodeon is a channel known for many things. They've usually been able to balance live action shows with cartoons while making sure there's something for everyone. Things may have changed and they put almost all their eggs in one basket with Spongebob or The Loud House, but you can't really blame them with how big they are. While it's true that Nick usually likes to play it safe, what you'll find on the channel today isn't necessarily how it played out a decade or two ago. And with that, it's time to dive into one of their branded TV channels that completely disappeared off the face of the earth. Let's see what it was, and why they decided to shut it down for good. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the wonderful world of Nick Gas. <laughs> I know, the name seems weird at first, but it actually stands for Games and Sports for Kids. Originally premiering on the main Nickelodeon channel, Nick Gas was a special programming block that pretty much did exactly what you think. Air fun game shows and stuff like that. In March of 1999, they decided to turn this block into its own official channel, which went by the same name. If it related in any way to action or sports, then you knew it would be making an appearance here. One of the most well-known shows of the time was Nickelodeon Guts. Where players compete against each other in extreme sports. It was pretty well received, lasting a few years on air and getting a decent sized audience too. This was incredibly different from some of the other content you'd find on Nick, but hey, it established variety. Everyone loves variety. Another one of the most popular shows on Nick Gas was Legends of the Hidden Temple, which centered on a temple filled with lost treasures protected by guards. Players would have to journey through this mysterious temple, performing stunts and answering questions about history. Now keep in mind that while the show premiered early in the 90s, this was a bunch of years later that reruns would play on games and sports for kids. The channel had a ton of Nick game shows in circulation, but not all of them were entirely new. If you were looking for some original content only on Nick Gas, well, the bumpers were pretty cool. Between reruns of episodes, viewers were treated to unique segments that relate to sports or games in some way. I think these were awesome, because no matter what you personally thought of them, there's a pretty good chance you'd prefer watching over some typical commercials. Watch out, kids, because it's time for another gas grill. Hey, who's getting grilled this time around? It's Ryan Nyquist, BMX Extreme Rider. Okay, Ryan, which is better? Captain Crunch or Lucky Charms? Definitely Lucky Charms. By having tons of bonus shorts aired during this time, it was easier for Nick to keep audiences glued to the TV screen. Nick Gas was really just a gift that kept on giving, but of course, nothing can last forever. As far as I know, there was never an official reason why this channel disappeared, but you could take a wild guess and chances are it'd be right. Over time, less and less people were probably watching, essentially leaving no reason for it to stay on the air. So, when December 31st, 2007 rolled around, it was time to say goodbye to Nickelodeon's Game Show Network. However, this end was also a new beginning. It would eventually transform into what we all know today as Teen Nick, which, yeah, has been around for much longer and seems to get more attention since it appeals to a different audience than Nickelodeon. But still, what I loved about Gas is that it put all the fun stuff in one place, separate from the normal cartoons and live action shows. You knew exactly what you were getting into and you could choose which channel to watch based on your personal preferences. It was a nice time all around. And the good news is, it still lives on in modern day. Kinda. The channel is long gone, don't get me wrong, but Nick is still sharing some love for their classic days. In the Loud House, there's a full episode dedicated to a crossover with Legends of the Hidden Temple. This is the legit game show. It's not some kind of parody for copyrighted reasons, cause they're both Nickelodeon. In a later episode, they even compete in Double Dare. There's also a section on Pluto TV dedicated to showing the classic game shows for anyone who either grew up with gas or just wants to watch for the first time. And by the way, a few of these shows actually came back for Modern Generation with new contestants and scenarios. Overall, it's safe to say that these kinds of shows were a staple in Nickelodeon's lineup. They may not have been as successful with the passing of time, but it's still cool to take a look back at everything. Have any of you guys watched Nick Gas before it came to an end? Or is this the first time you're hearing about it? Let's talk in the comments. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.